example using Firefox okay this is Firefox 2 because it works just a bit faster than Firefox 3 on this unit uh, including the flash video so just give you a YouTube example how it works and you will have an idea how fluid and how nice the YouTube video is. so you'll have no problems watching videos on internet with this unit normally it's impossible but I have installed some programs which bypass the flash and use just directly mp3 on YouTube so I'll just open YouTube by simply clicking on speed dial buttons alright it's already open I'll just okay press one button random video and let's see what we, what we are watching okay Jessica Rose it's for the 50th anniversary for YouTube okay it's easy it's really liquid flu fluid yeah. it's a YouTube video that's true good that's enough so and what else we have okay I'll just pause the video good and now show you how I can browse I uh, using my finger I have drag I don't so I just simply can you see use my finger for everything so it's like a you know mobile browsing experience like just like an iPhone you see so it's cool to browse with this unit too and it's just easy what else we can do with this unit let me show you my front end which I use for car to use GPS when I want to travel from somewhere to somewhere so I just click it here either the right runner button in my menu okay this menu okay I will show you something else in Firefox too okay when the Firefox is opened right this menu changes and the second menu has a specific buttons for easing also the browsing experience as you see now the the buttons has changed to back full screen home page down page down zoom in zoom out this kind of things you see exit Firefox and it also I have fill form which you don't have to enter your passwords or username anymore right so I'll just for example click in zoom in and you see that fonts increased in size good what I what we have here uh, too I can yeah okay I can overclock with this unit too so I just simply click the overclock to 975 megahertz so there's a software called set FSB so with this unit I can with this program I can just simply overclock the unit automatically so you'll see that the, the speed will increase automatically it's now our clocking yes 975 so it is, everything is automatic and it's just gone and now we have a faster even faster unit let's open the right runner either from this button on the desktop or from the menu let's open it from the menu I just open it from the menu and this is right runner it's quite fast it, it plays mp3 okay this is me and my girlfriend again and we can change this picture of course all right it has the whatever you want you listen to music you answer your phone if you have a windows mobile phone it has integrated part of this software so you can control your phone from here and you can talk anybody so let's open our main gps program i just click the gps right and i wait it to load as you see I have the the GPS unit here okay I'll just open it one more time yes now it, it, it will fit exactly to my screen so I'll have like integrated GPS program which has 3d buildings for New York and New Jersey but you can install these maps for free from the internet so you see some places Concord Street Nassau Street blah 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 so let's see one address example how we can use this unit so I just click the menu I go my route and just simulate I have predefined route from my home okay this is my home and I'll just uh, turn off the cursor car so you will see it easier right good you see the unit now simulating a GPS you know trip I mean navigated trip it has a voice navigation so at the same time I can listen music 
to go to next song, search the songs. I have no songs at the moment installed, but that's what I can do. You see, you would normally see when you have the okay, I have eight gigabyte, eight gigabytes micro SD card, ride. and if, if I put left. songs in the music folder of it, you will see them here. So you can select and play any any one of you while navigating without problem. So I'll turn back to my menu, what else I can do with this. So I can just navigate internet using Firefox while, you see, while navigating plus listening music, I can also navigate uh, internet using Firefox with touch functionalities. Now the Firefox is being loaded, as you see, it is integrated to the program, so I have like YouTube, for example, and GPS program and MP3s all together without a problem. So I'll just go, for example, the second video, and you will see what will happen. While navigating, I have YouTube. This is something cool. Okay, you see, I can do everything together. So I'll go back to my navigation and see what is going on there. Take second right. All right, let's. That's it. You you have a lot of functions. Like, let me show you the phone uh, GUI, so you can use all phones, and you'll see the screen of your phone here if it's Windows Mobile. I go take back. Second let's right. see some utilities. So. I might need to take notes, for example, or applications, okay. So I just open Notepad and calculator or Notepad. Okay, I say lounge Drive more than two kilometers. and you have Notepad here. So I can just simply use whatever I like. Blah, 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 blah. Right, good. It's enough for software side, I guess. Let me show you some external hardware that I have for this unit. So I have one extra, I don't want to save it, baby. Good. Okay, I have one external battery, which is normally a security cam battery, but it works flawlessly. It's 1,800 milliampere per hour. So it is, let's turn it on and charge our device on the go. This unit has really cool features as well. What else we can have? Let me show you. Yeah, you see it's it's now charging with the external battery. Um, it has like one at least one and a half hours more juice with this charging option. And for example, I have a Bluetooth wireless keyboard which I'll include when I sell this unit. So let's turn it on and see what I can do with this unit. It's just like a little mini mini tiny computer with no wires and nothing at all. So you see that it's quite impressive the way that it interacts. Okay, let, let me show you some writing examples. So I'll just right click, say new. Okay, let's let's open a new text document. Say edit. So I say hi everyone. Okay. So hi Hi, hi, good. So this is the unit, it's just smaller than the unit itself and it's a full featured keyboard, you have all the buttons. And I held the like the Bluetooth mouse, but I will not in, in, include this one with the unit. You can buy a separate one, just show you how, how can I work with it as a ordinary mouse. So. You, Uh, okay. I might have some issues with the might have some issues with the battery. So I don't know if it has 
but it's because I don't use it that frequently. Yeah, okay, it's 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 working. So 